I've got some 6 aught tan thread on a size 8 streamer hook is what we've got in the vise. I'm just going to lay down just a base layer of thread here. We're gonna okay, so I'm going to tie in 6 pieces of crystal flash for my tail. We'll end up folding it over itself here. I'm just going to do a gathering wrap there, tie that just right on top of the hook shank. Kind of help position that over. Wrap up the hook shank just a little bit, and then we'll come back here to just above the barb of the hook. We'll fold the what's hanging out the front there. We'll fold it over the back, tie that down, and I'll trim this short. I usually try to keep the tail pretty short on this, about the length of what the point of the hook is after it comes off the bend there. That straight part, kind of my guide there to keep it um, consistent when I'm tying a bunch of them. Okay, so next, um, chubby Chernobyl, we want to make it chubby. We want to make it so it doesn't sink. We want this fly to float up for us. And so I've found, um, as a lot of other tires have done as well, a little underlayment of foam on the body or on the underbody will help keep this guy floating. It'll help build up the body, um, just makes it a little more chubbier. So I'm just going to lay this little piece of foam down. I cut a thin strip. It's not very, you don't need a lot. Um, and I usually use an off-colored foam that I don't tie with a lot so I don't cut into my, my good stuff. So I'll trim that little piece off there. You want to leave a little bit of a gap there at the head so you can do your whip finish and make a nice clean finish there. But it doesn't need to look pretty. We just want to compress that foam down, just build up a little bit of the body. And I'm going to cut just a little bit right off of the back here. So I'm gonna start with some dubbing right now and we're gonna use the golden brown ice dub. And I found with using ice dub, if you just use a little bit at a time and kind of work your way up the hook, it's a little easier to roll on rather than trying to do it all at once. So I just take little clumps and just kind of take my time filling in these spots here, but we're going to tie up here to where we're going to tie in our foam. I usually start my foam right here at the point of the hook. And I've cut a piece of foam that's about the width of the hook gap there, maybe just a little bit. That's pretty good, pretty even there. And I always cut my foam a little bit longer so I can trim it at the end there, but we want it to be sticking out over the back and over the top so we can trim that head when we get to that point. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that foam right on top. I think you'll find too with that underlayment of foam that this foam, the tan foam, won't roll over on you. Working with foam can be kind of tricky because it wants to roll around the hook shank, but with that extra piece of foam there, this kind of helps hold that foam in place. So I started that. I've got two wraps of foam there. I'm actually going to bring my thread up and just kind of create a little gap in the foam. That'll kind of help us create a spot to put our legs and our wing. First thing I'll tie in is my wing material. This is just gray poly yarn. I've cut a strand here that I'll probably need to size it when I finish the fly, trim it down. I'm gonna tie that in on top, do a loose gathering wrap, just center it right on top. Give it a couple of good tight wraps. Then I'll fold it back over itself. And I try to create a little space there where I can wrap right on top of it again and really pinch that down so that wing doesn't come undone after a couple of fish or after you're casting it. Okay, so now our legs, I'm gonna take a set of legs here on the back side. I just pull this right up against my thread, if you can see that. I just slip it right up, right against the foam and just the weight of the bobbin will hold it there. And then I do one, two, three wraps right there to keep that secure. And then I'll tie this in on the front just hold that right here to the side. Pinch that in there. And then we'll just try to center those a little bit. One kind of up against the foam. You don't want them up on top of the foam or sucked up underneath it. Okay, so now we're going to dub. We're going to put some dubbing on right around where we tied our legs and our wing in. Again, I'm just using small amounts of dubbing 
I'll just take my time and work my way up the hook shank. Okay, so once I've worked my dubbing up here up the hook shank, I've stopped just behind the head here. And I'm going to fold this foam down. I'll do the same thing I did on the back half of the fly. Give it a couple of good tight wraps to secure that there. And then I'll, again, I'm going to bring my foam or my thread just forward, just creating a little gap in the foam there. Then we'll tie in our second wing. Fold it back. The legs are going crazy. And pinch that guy down. A couple of good tight wraps so again that doesn't fall out. Okay, then we're going to tie in our last sets of legs here. Again, on the back side, I just bring that right up against the thread, pinch it in between the thread and the foam. The weight of the bobbin will hold that. And we'll tie that down. Tie in our last set of legs. Oops. Position those and then just kind of up against the foam there. Okay, so now we're ready to do our dubbing again. We'll just do our last. You can reposition your legs however you need. Oops. That looks pretty good there. Then I'll do the wing. You just try to just keep the wing even. I like a big bushy wing, so just try to kind of hold them all up. I kind of cut down at an angle. Just like that. We'll brush that out. Then with the foam, we're going to come in here and I'm just going to cut that straight across and then angle it. We'll just dog ear it. Dog ear the back as well. Just like that. Then you can come in with a brush or some Velcro, whatever you got to use to brush out the wing. Kind of fluff that out a little bit. And that's all she wrote for that guy. So there's your Chubby Chernobyl. Perfect little fly coming up for that summertime hopper hatch, right? Okay guys, good luck. Let us know how you do with that.